You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Because it is so obvious you are here to cause trouble. What did you do? You refused to listen to that very simple instruction. Then you developed the audacity to go for my woman. Are you out of your mind? Your woman. Um, everybody. A man who puts his hands in the mouth of a snake knows that that snake will bite. And, uh, You're asking for trouble. Who is the snake? You? You are the snake? It is very clear to me, Abibi, that no one took success into your head. Abibi, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I have built a very strong network against you in this town. You are terrorizing people and people are tired of you. Try me one more time, baby boy, and I assure you that I will run you out of your own town. You are very stupid to say that. Now, who the hell do you think you are? Okay, you now feel you have some friends that you have made in my town. For you to believe you can run me out of my town, I can say that to my face. How dare you? Ah, uh, you think I cannot do it? Try. No, baby boy, try me and see. Huh? I see that it has not dawned on you yet that the people are tired of you. Everybody, you have now become a new sense what? in this town. Try me, for when I finally rise against you, even men from your family will be the ones to show me where you're hiding. You are a fool. a fool. You are a fool to say that. Now listen, let me put it to you straight. You see that woman? That is very. She is my woman. She is actually the one that have already decided to make my queen. When I become the king of this land, stay away from that woman before you will see the beast of me. Huh? You call yourself a beast. Every <laughs> way, when a drunken fowl has not met the madness of a fox, begins to feel like a god, <laughs> gloating around until it realizes that its drunkenness is a joke compared the madness of a fox. You have beaten more than you can chew in this town, Ebi Iwe, and we are not going to run away from you. My town? Neither are we going to leave this town for you. It is not possible. Ebi Iwe, you call yourself a beast. Let that beast manifest and I assure you that I'm going to kill you and share your meat to the people. You're asking for trouble. You're making noise in my place of business. Get out of this place and go back to your wife. Who, by the way, is the reason we are still taking your nonsense and tolerating you because she's such a glorious woman. Who keeps going around to clear your mess? But for how long? Hey. For how long, Gabi? Hey. That way. As you can see, I'm okay. Huh? What did he do to you? Nothing. Stop now. I'm fine. I mean, look, look at me. I'm okay. Right? Relax. Now. I'm okay. He's just a noisemaker. What can he possibly do to me? Igbigo is very dangerous. He's a dangerous man. Igbigo carries a gun in his car. And the police are not doing anything about it. They can't even do anything about it. You have to be careful. Please. I'm careful. There's nothing he can do. However, he said something. Sweetheart, I'm okay. 
I'm okay, I'm okay. That's not what my problem is right now. When he came here, he said something that worries me. He said that he's planning to become king. And that when he becomes king, you're going to be his, his, his queen. That but nonsense he says all the time. Leave him as a fool. Who will be his queen? How? I know it sounds stupid, but I, I just need... To, he said it with so much confidence. Now you, you believe I'm going to be his queen? No, I did not, I did not believe him. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry now, I'm sorry. My own is just be careful. I'm fine. Huh? Listen, that man is just a riffraff. And people here are getting tired of him. And very soon he'll be dealt with. I'm fine now, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. It's fine, I'm here. It's fine, I'm fine. You're here now. How are you? I'm fine, how's work? Now listen to me, Chuku Jehu. You need to understand that this is not just my war. It's not just my war, it's our war. Oh. Now, because you live in Lagos and you feel like you've arrived, Abi? Uh huh. Ah, leave that thing. I am not afraid of a wig where he's a touse. He's a criminal, a buffoon, he's a charlatan. Do you know that he has refused to conduct election? That idiot refused to conduct election. And the only man that is now helping the youths of our land, teaching them his line of work, is the one he wants to run off town. It will never happen. I have this feeling, I have this belief that Ebuigwe must be stopped and we will stop him. Uh-huh. Yes, now, Aban, one, one man from Ikota, Ikota Abasi, the electrician. See, listen, listen, listen. Listen, you could listen when I talk to you, Mr. Man. My point is this. Aban needs our protection. Especially from those of you, those of you out there. We must protect him. He is doing what you people could not do. And that is why this is our war. We will stand up to him face to face. And I need your support. That's why I'm calling you. Uh-huh. Hey, baby. So this is what all this is about. You want to marry another woman into this house? After everything we have been through. Hey, baby. Oh. So this is why you've been insisting I return back to Obon. Ibigwe, you are very heartless. And someone must show you this level of wickedness. Elizabeth, why are you making a case out of nothing? I don't understand. Do you lack anything? You don't. You have a supermarket in Empor that I established for you. A thriving supermarket. Even now that you are here in a in a bomb, looking for my trouble, that supermarket is still functioning because of the structure I set around it. Do you lack anything? Why are you vibrating? What, what is this now? Everywhere. I am looking for your trouble. What have I done to you? Where have I gone wrong that you are dreaming of another woman? Uh, uh, listen, listen, you have not done anything wrong. And I'm not planning to divorce you. You are still my wife. And you will remain my wife. I'm not tired of you. You will remain my wife. I am not, unless you are tired of me yourself. Listen, Elizabeth, I decided to marry a second wife because it is my right. As only born name Olivier. What? Seriously? It is your right to insult me? Your wife? Can you have insult me? Can you have insult me? It's okay. You want another wife? No problem. Not my own. You are still my wife. Can you manage this? Can you manage this? Why can't people mind their business? Who is this fool that will just go and reveal this secret to my wife now? Eh? He didn't want to win your poison. And where is my beautiful Elizabeth going with a bag? Elizabeth, I asked the question. Where are you going with a bag? 
and what will I be doing here? I am finally going back to work to mind my business so you can have all the time to live your life the way you want to. Please, Elizabeth, you really need to calm down. There is no way I will allow you to live with this bottled animosity. It is going to be very unfair for you to go back to Mpo and feed my children with lies. I have not sent you out. I still love you. Listen, I decided to marry a second wife because I need to be married to a woman from this, our kingdom. For me to stand the chance to become the king of this land someday. I cannot be a king when I am married to a woman from outside. That is it. Why can't you understand it? But you are not yet a king. But I am going to be. Everything is already settled. That this man here is going to be the next king of this kingdom. And you will still remain the first wife of the king. You see, Ebere, Ebere is going to be a ceremonial queen. She is just somebody I want to marry for me to stand a chance to assess the throne. Once I become the king, she is going to be dusted. You are the man. You just look at it. Ebere is standing and Elizabeth is standing. Even the blind man we see that Elizabeth is demented. Look at you. Come on. Come on. Why will you be thinking of doing this? Beautiful one. Come on, stop this. I don't have time for this, please. Hey, but I have time for you. Don't allow anything to deceive you. Take this back inside. I'm going to finish you this night. I'm going to finish you this night. Gonna finish. Please stop. I am not going to stop anything. Why would you even pack your bag and say, yeah, come on, stop. stop. Take your bag inside. Take your bag inside now. Listen, guys, there is um, an assignment I need you to carry out. You see that guy, Aban, who came from a Kotapas to establish in this our land. He has been making a lot of money from us. And that idiot has refused to pay what he is supposed to pay to us. He has gone ahead to place signposts with his phone number. At all the strategic junctions in Enua Bomimi, directing people to him for their electrical works. And from what I gather, he is so good in what he does. You see all those signposts? I want all of them removed immediately. So what are you suggesting? Snowman, they suggest say me will go in house for nights. Put in house for a blaze. Make sure say in bonny side. No. That will not fly. Why now? You say why now? Na me they come up for this side. I go do I go run I know in house. Shut 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 up your mouth. Because you are bringing here me will try upgrade your identity. Big daddy, we are talking about a womanizer. Somebody will not the feel sleep without woman. Look. I can bet you the day you want to set him at least, he will born with a daughter of a bomb with me. Or even daughters. Uh huh. No, which one won't be that now? Listen, if there is any daughter of this land who has decided to open herself for that idiot's enjoyment in our land here, then that daughter should be set ablaze for real. So don't even agree with me on this. I'm telling you. Big Daddy, I will drop. Uh huh. I will so drop. Start up. Big Daddy. But, well, that is not what I want. Uh -huh. I don't want anybody to die, even when those idiots deserve to die for opening themselves to an idiot from Mokotans. I just want him to leave this land. The same way he came, I want us to set, set a machinery in motion that will force him to run away from this town. You see, all those people who are praising him, telling him that he's so good, making him to... I want all of them to be ashamed by the day he will leave. That's what I want us to do. Create the scenario and let it start to work. Big Daddy, just leave this one out for me. I will package this one. You know the rainy season, the current season, the good. I say you take come up for this time. Just leave that one for me. Alpha, move ahead. Anything you call me. Stop Your Majesty, to be honest with you, I heard the rumor. But it's still a rumor. A mere rumor. <laughs> There is no way a big way 
will be making plans to become king when you are still alive. It's not possible. It's here, Are you trying to say that my informant is a liar? Or are you saying that I don't know what I am saying? Your Majesty, I never said anything like that. But what I'm saying is that I will urge you to overlook this. Let us give Ebi Uwe that benefit of the doubt. That young man might be innocent. But he has already spoken to some people about his ambition. And that is why he is already looking for a second wife in this land. Because he feels that the men in cancer will not allow him to become king if he does not have a wife from Inua Bowman. Your Majesty, these might just be statements made over bottles of beer. Yes, we all know Ebigwe. And we know the kind of things that motivate him. And let us give him that benefit of the doubt. Yeah? Your Majesty, put that one aside, please. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, you are lucky I told him that you cannot say something like that. Better be careful from now on. Be very, very careful. I don't understand what is going on. Does he think that he's going to be king forever? Listen, that may happen somewhere else. It cannot happen in this land where I live. A man should be able to be king for some time and then he should step out for some other person to continue. And that's what is going to happen here. I am not afraid of that king. Go ahead and tell him what I said. I'm not afraid of him. Let him do his worst. Maybe he will. Better be careful with the king. Don't forget he has the staff of the kings with him. And with that, he can banish you from this land. And you must leave. Otherwise, the gods will kill you for disobeying the staff. Well, let me bust the bubble. Is he a good here? I do not believe in the gods. And I have no regards for your so-called ancestors. <laughs> You see this man sitting here with you? This man sitting here is a man unto himself. That man should do what I have just said. If that king should insult himself by doing what he just said, banish himself and not me, I swear, I am going to wipe out his entire family from the face of the earth. Talk about your God. Anyway, I still maintain what I say. But I be very, very careful what you say when he summons you. Please. You know, you know, most times when you speak like this, I begin to wonder, why must I pay you the kind of money I pay you every month when it is so clear you are not doing anything for me? Eh? Me? What do you mean? Let me tell you, what you pay me is nothing, absolutely nothing compared to the type of job I do for you. What nonsense job do you do for me? If you doubt me, I will do my services and I assure you, you will end up in jail. Eh, eh. You know, there's huh? only, you see, Agosia, there is only one reason I am still allowing you to be a living man in the land of the living. Don't provoke me. Because if you provoke me, I will not just turn you off. I'm a poor me. Come on, come on, balloon. I'm a poor balloon. You need me a house here. Be very careful. Be very careful. Ah, who's here? Look, you see, Agosia, come on, my yawa. It, by, by the time you fail to tell the king what I just said, Mojo Kungwagi, Allah. I paid three million naira into your account this morning. Yes, my king, uh, which is why I'm here. I noticed that you transferred three million naira to me. But I also remember that the balance uh, for the work that I did for you is 900,000. Yes. So I'm wondering what the other 2.1 million is for. Well, it is for the same uh, wind electricity that you claim yeah. that you you can mount. I remember. To automatically bring security light in the, in the main facility That's once true. there is no Nepal light. You said it is for 2 million Naira, but I give you extra 100,000 Naira to make you happy. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you so much, my king. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for... And thank you so much for the confidence that you have in me and my work. I it's promise okay. not to disappoint you. It's okay. You're welcome. I have to go. Uh, it's okay. More work to be done. It's okay. Yeah. 
the great Yuroko of my land. Onye is the name of I greet you, sir. I I heard you want to be the king of this land. I don't understand. Rumors are everywhere that you're making everything possible to become the king of this land. You might just I don't understand what you are saying. That I, I want to be king. How is that possible? When there is a king already in my land, they thought they know this is like an abomination. Really? Yes. So you mean you are denying your plans? of becoming a king in this land while I am still here. Is that what you're saying now? Your Majesty, I don't know where I have gone wrong. I don't know what I did to people. Why would they level this kind of validation against me that I want to be king? The truth is that I never dreamt to be king. I don't want to be king, Your Majesty. Because I understand what being king, what it entails, a lot of restrictions. You don't eat this, you don't eat that, you don't go there, you know, you know, those, I don't want to live that kind of life. I want to be a free man who does whatever thing he likes. That's just the truth. So I, I don't understand. to descend on that man with federal might. I've told him severally why he thinks I'm joking. I'm going to run him out of this town. What if he has connection in Abuja like he hmm. does here? Ebuigwe is a local champion. His criminal politics does not exceed this town. He does not have the balls to take it out of this town. He's a coward. Okay. I'll just let you deal with him then. You know, once in a while, criminal elements like a wee wee will arise in different towns and naturally people would just sit back and do nothing. And then they tend to succeed because they are ignored. But ultimately, they get crushed. And when that happens, it leaves a sour taste. And that will be the case here. For a wee wee's time is up. His time is up. You have been restless since you came back from the King's Palace. I hope all is well. That man is a fool. You won't believe that he threatened me. Mm -hmm. The thunder of Enu me. That man had the cause to threaten me in this kingdom. But I'm going to teach you my lesson, don't worry. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Truth be told, you cannot blame the poor king. How do you mean? He must have heard what you're planning. Naturally, you feel threatened. If you're in his position, you will do the same. He's a fool. He's a fool to be fully threatened. How can a human being become king and they rule and they die on the throne? It's not possible. It may happen in every other place. It cannot happen here in Enu Abomeme. You will rule for some time. And then you will get out for some other person to continue. You see, the truth that is already established, eh? you see that man? Whatever thing he is planning is nonsense. I'm going to dethrone him. And I'm going to become the next king of this country. His threat is nothing. So you just calm down. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just not restless because of him. There's a business that I am trying to, to, to code that is not linking. And, um, that is actually what is giving me the, the restless moment, not the king. King is a giraffe. It's a giraffe. If you are calculating any business, remember that.
Your Majesty. You promised me. I'm still on it. You should not have arrested him. I did that because I am fed up with your excuses. That young man has become a thorn in our flesh. He has become a nuisance in this kingdom. And so I have decided to handle him my own way. Yes. Uh, Your Majesty, I, I, I don't understand what you mean by my excuses. You think I do not know that you are on his payroll? You really think so? You are a disgrace to this kingdom. And for your information, this will be the very last time that you will ever come close to me. And I mean every word that I have said. Oh, yes. What? what, what um, uh? The election into the youth council. That you connive with that young man to remain in office, to sabotage me, will hold on Saturday. Yes. A new youth executive will emerge on Saturday. And you know what? I trusted you. You blew it. And never again would you ever come close to me because you have overstayed your welcome. What oh, is it? You can leave. Your Majesty. I love you, Lotele. This is the best news I have ever heard. Obviously. You know, we're just tired. We're tired. We're tired of it. We're... Apparently, Igwe was planning the same thing I was planning. I'm happy that the authorities have decided to you know, stand up to this man. Can't keep covering him. For one man. Really, enough is enough. So that so-called almighty Igwe is finally in chains. Oh yes, and he'll be charged to court and remanded in prison for his nonsense. Really. Akban, please, I need you to do me a favor. Speak, baby. What is it? What do you want? I want to go in there mm -hmm. and prepare a very nice delicacy for us to celebrate with. Please promise me you'll wait. Uh, as a matter of fact, the truth is, eh, I I have nothing slated for today. So now, <laughs> now we're here. I'm waiting. Help me. <laughs> Just make it spicy, eh? Like Pepe. Hey. Your question, why you call us here now? As soon as you saw my intestine, they get a dick. And then time my intestine, they get a dick like this, and then they like tic tac on put. As soon as no say big daddy go on Vatican leave, police just excuse and come up for this community. So I don't need any of you to know say I'm meeting in charge. We don't need the election put, you don't understand. So as the matter don't deal like this, FN, now fuck up. Yes. Now fuck up if we don't activate on behalf of Big Daddy. We need to show these people saying that we they run this town before Big Daddy could come. You don't understand. See, Joyce, I'm tell you something. All these things where they happen already are not my problem. You no consign me at all. The only problem where I get now. And how to make sure say I no follow Big Daddy enter prison. So I see me can tell you now, make you no be say you now come begin find me. I come say I don't mellow. I see me can take permission because I see they be. I don't fall out. Guy, I don't call. Boy. Guys, I still value my freedom. As it be now, eh? I know they do again. I'm out of here and I will never return. See, uh, not let those things, not let her, not let her shake you, yeah? As you see those two people, so they be like, oh, where? They're not normal. You know, see that guy who stand near me? Be like, oh, they go out to net her every morning. See, deal with me. For this thing, where you deal like this now, so, eh? When big daddy show, you go benefit her. I mean, it's not easy, see? It's not easy for you to stand. Oh, boy, oh, boy, see? If you like, they are the phone with that here. Oh, mommy, I'm not going to follow you there, yo. I move. Even you when I say you get future, I don't say cobweb still, still, still tango your future. You move. Where yeah, you know where you they move, they go. Sean Bill, they know they feed the CL this. Which kind? They know they get rugged boys for this serious self. Eh? 
See, I'll remove this blindfold though. Uh -huh. We're coming down. I'll remove the blindfold soon. There you go. <gasps> My goodness. <sighs> it's either you or none other, baby. This has to be you. I love you. Please, tell me you'll marry me. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Yes, yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> you must be a fool to believe you can come into this land and pull this stunt. You see this lady here? She is my sister from my land. And she is the one I have already named my wife. So there is no, no amount of witchcraft we have brought from Ekotabas that will make her yours. I am giving you a count of five to detach that useless ring you have in her finger or I will kill you and bury you right in this land. Five. Four. 